A new energy power plant with a 4 billion kilowatt hour yearly output has been constructed in China's desert. This power plant not only addresses China's electricity deficit issue, but also contributes to the control of desert greening, supports the growth of plants and rice in arid areas. This project is now the biggest solar panel power plant in the world after gaining the Guinness World Record certification. So how did China manage to construct solar power plants in the desert? Many nations throughout the world have experienced a scarcity of power in recent years. For instance, power is currently considered a luxury by Europeans this year in Europe. Since the Russia-Ukraine crisis, the EU has joined the US in imposing sanctions on Russia on a number of occasions, which has raised the cost of energy in Europe. Particularly dire conditions exist, and there is a shortage of energy in France and Germany. According to the International Energy Agency, this winter will be extremely challenging for all of Europe as a result of the substantial increase in natural gas prices. When Europeans know that China does not need to pay for expensive natural gas, but instead relies on solar energy to meet its electricity needs and only needs to pay 0.08 USD per kilowatt hour of electricity, they should refrain from importing a large number of cheap electric blankets from China in advance. Europe as a whole is astonished. In actuality, the idea of solar energy generation was developed in France in 1968 in a structure created by a French architect who utilized a mirror to collect sunlight and guide it toward a mirror. At the time, scientists working on the solar energy complex believed it was more of a project to study the sun than a project to generate inexpensive power, despite the fact that the temperature may exceed 3500 degrees Celsius. Despite having 1.4 billion people, China won't experience electricity shortages as Europe does. And with an increasing number of technology items in daily life, they are currently planning for the issue of green power supply in the future. China uses 80 to 100 billion kilowatt hours of electricity annually from the Three Gorges dams and the North-South Water Diversion Project, but their electricity demand is still rising. In parts of China, where the manufacturing sector is developed, there is still a lot of electricity available. Throughout the sweltering summer, oil and coal are the conventional fuels for electricity generation. However, this method produces a lot of carbon dioxide, the most potential area for power generation in the future, according to Chinese scientists, is solar energy. Therefore, at a time when researchers from many nations are still examining how to use solar energy to address electrical problems, China has started to innovate aggressively in the notion of France. China has independently solved these issues and implemented ecological greening and animal husbandry using sun energy and deserts. The $460 million project known as Desert Power Station spans 14,000 square kilometers and calls for the construction of 1.78 million solar panels. China finished the building in under six months. The globe was shocked by China's quickness. What relevance do solar power plants have for China then? The first solar power station has a 60.85 megawatt installed capacity. There are 1.78 million solar photovoltaic panels in total, and the power conversion capacity is 2 million take out. According to calculations based on the highest power generation, it is sufficient to produce five times the amount of electricity needed annually by the entire Chinese population, which would not only address China's power shortage issue, but also provide income from selling electricity to neighboring nations. The development of the solar power plant in the desert was greatly aided by the Second China's Desert Greening Initiative. Controlling the desert is the first issue to be resolved. China has endured over 40 years of difficult sand control from the 1980s to the present. With the help of tens of thousands of Chinese citizens, the desert has now been greened to a percentage of 53% making it the most successful desert greening project in the history of the planet. Green plants are now blocking some of the wind and sand. When the power plant is finished, the desert may be finished on time. It can also assist people in managing the desert. Engineers track the sun's angle in the east-west direction in real time using a tracking photovoltaic support system. Conversion efficiency is better than 21.6% when employing sand's high reflectivity to illuminate the module throughout the day. Each of these 1.78 million solar panels has a height of more than 2 meters, and they are able to grow plants underneath them while simultaneously producing power. Ecological restoration and desert governance are done. 
by efficiently preventing the majority of wind and sand from degrading desert plants. These solar panels enhance the living conditions of plants. The Kabuki Desert, formerly known as the Sea of Death, is located underneath the panels. The golden sand has developed into an oasis, and 63% of the desert is now covered with greenery. As a result, the power plant and desert greening work best together. The third method raises herdsmen's economic revenue. In the past, this desert lacked vegetation, making it impossible for humans to keep sheep and cattle. However, it is now possible to grow grass below the 2-meter solar panels. The shepherds who live close to the desert can sow grass on this foundation after receiving permission to cultivate a variety of crops there. Sheep and cattle are needed to generate a solid income. Additionally, several Chinese medicinal plants will be grown here, sold to wholesalers, and rice will also be grown here. China has successfully grown rice in the desert, which is unusual. Many families living close to the desert travel this route in order to reduce poverty, live well, and benefit from the numerous ways that ecological, sustainable, and circular development improve people's lives. The fourth benefit is that it addresses the issue of pollution caused by power. In China, there are now five primary methods for producing electricity. Thermal power, hydropower, wind power, nuclear power, and solar power. With a share of 71.27%, Thermal power generation still holds the clear majority. Pollutants in considerable quantities will be produced during thermal power generating. One of the contributors of pollution is coal, which will eventually have an impact on people's health. By 2035, China wants its electricity system to emit 80% less carbon dioxide than it does today. And without burning coal, solar energy is a clean energy source that produces no pollutants. It is a clean energy that satisfies the requirements set out by green and low carbon transformation standards, and it will not emit greenhouse emissions. Taking into account the fact that this power plant has generated electricity, China places a high value on the contribution that solar and wind energy make to the reliability of the supply of energy. Overall, greater than 4 billion kilowatt hours of power have been generated, which has resulted in the avoidance of at least 135 tons of coal. Solar power generation has made it possible for people to have access to electricity even when it is nighttime. When the base is established without incident, it will generate a big amount of power, which will then be able to be sent in a risk-free manner to faraway Beijing, Shanghai, and other major cities with high rates of electricity consumption. Because to solar energy, people in the community no longer need to be concerned about high electricity expenses or power outages, which has brought them a significant amount of ease. Although not quite as large as the solar power plant in the Sahara Desert, China is home to a sizable number of photovoltaic solar power producing facilities. These facilities provide enough electricity for the country's needs. China has set for itself the lofty goal of integrating the development of solar energy as one of the future energy development goals in order to meet its commitment to reducing its carbon emissions, to develop a sustainable ecosystem for the planet Earth. Second, they want to employ solar energy to successfully combat the problem of desert aridity, which would result in the transformation of all of China's deserts into green agricultural land. If China's plan can be adopted in other countries, people won't have to worry about having insufficient access to power, and the health of the planet's ecology would improve. Share your opinion in comments. Also, click on this video to watch about another shocking project.